Hey guys, welcome to Nathan's Car Care. I'm Nathan, and in today's video, we're going to be testing whether dry ice will pull dents. So if you're subscribed to the channel, you'll know that I've tried various DIY dent removal methods three times now. I tried compressed air with a hair dryer, I tried compressed air with a heat gun, and I tried a crossbar dent puller kit. None of those three methods worked 100% across the board. In fact, the first two, the ones that involved the compressed air, did not work at all. The third one, which was the crossbar dent repair kit, did work a little bit, but not 100%. So it got a lot of the dent out, but not all of it. If you've not seen any of those videos, there's going to be links to all three down in the description, and you can find a link to the crossbar repair kit right up here in the corner. So today we're going to try another popular method that you'll see online using dry ice. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use a heat gun to heat up the dent first, and then we use the dry ice, put a small chunk of that directly on the dent, and we're hoping is that the coldness of the dry ice will pop the dent. Now, I'm quite skeptical whether this will work or not. The other several methods didn't really work that great, so I'm a little skeptical about this one, but we're going to go ahead and give it a shot. So before we start, there's something we need to talk about. Dry ice is actually very dangerous. It's not dangerous because it's toxic. I mean, yes, in large quantities, if you were to breathe in the carbon dioxide, which is what dry ice is, you could potentially be in some danger. However, we're outdoors, that's not gonna happen. No, what we need to worry about is how cold it is. The surface temperature of dry ice is about 109 degrees below zero Fahrenheit, which is pretty cold. In fact, that's cold enough that it could probably freeze through your hands in just a couple seconds. So we want to be extremely careful when we handle it. For that purpose, I have these heavy insulated gloves. These are Carhartt brand, but in a pinch you can use a thick towel, but I would recommend getting gloves just so you can hold it better. So as long as you use some common sense, dry ice is actually pretty safe. Just remember that you should never touch dry ice directly. Always have a good protective barrier between your skin and the dry ice. Now if you do happen to get hurt by it, it's just a frostbite, so technically it's not too terrible as long as it wasn't long contact. So just treat it like you would normal frostbite. If it's long contact and your skin is either white or very, very, very red and painful, or you can't feel it at all, I would recommend you go to a doctor because you've probably done a lot more damage than just a simple frostbite. So what I'm trying to say is you probably shouldn't try this yourself unless you're confident that you can handle it safely, which usually with confidence comes carelessness. So basically don't do it yourself. I'll take the risk so that you don't have to try it. So with that, let's go ahead and get started and see if it works. So I'm keeping the dry ice in the cooler as long as possible so that it will not dissipate into the open air. That way we hold on to it a little longer especially because today it's over 90 degrees and it would dissipate pretty quick. Okay, so here's the first dent that we're going to try this on. I picked this one because it is an extremely shallow dent. This dent has the best chance of being removed with dry ice because there's no crease on the bottom and it's a very small one. So if it can't remove this one, then it probably won't be able to remove any others. But we're going to go and heat this one up and then put the dry ice on it and see what happens. Well, that's a little bit disappointing, I would say, because it didn't do anything at all. So, dry ice did not work on this one. I'm going to take it to a different dent, and we're going to see if it'll work there. Okay, so let's go ahead and try this dent right here. This is one of the ones we worked on previously. So, we're going to heat this up, and then we're going to put the dry ice on it, and see if that doesn't pop it out. Thank you. 
Well, that did not work at all. Dent's still there, same size, no change in it at all. So it looks like my fears were correct. Dry ice does not work to remove dents. Looks like it really only has one good purpose remaining. As you can see. Alright guys, that's about it for this week's video. If you enjoyed it, make sure you hit that like button. Comment down below if you thought there was something maybe I should do differently, or if you thought I did everything right. Let me know. Whatever you have to say, drop a comment down below. I really appreciate it, and I do read every single one. Share this video with all your friends so that they can find either the humor in it or the helpfulness of it, however they might see it. Make sure you subscribe to the channel so you can be notified next time I release a video. And don't forget to check out NathansCarCare.com. There's a lot of helpful tips and resources on there for the videos that I make. There's also a link to my Amazon web store where you can buy a lot of the things that I use in my videos. So make sure you check it out, NathansCarCare.com. And until next time, this is Nathan, signing off.